stand and work light. We will also briefly be employing the help of the Win 12.5 inch thickness planer and the Win variable speed oscillating tool. I started off by looking up other people's designs for bandsaw boxes online. Everyone else online demonstrated such creativity and showmanship with their bandsaw boxes, I couldn't wait to get started making my own version. First, I had to make a block of wood to construct the bandsaw box from. Because the Wind 2 speed 10 inch bandsaw has the ability to cut depths of up to 6 inches, I decided to make a 10 by 6 by 6 inch block of wood as my starting point. If this is the size that sounds right to you, then grab 4 2 by 6s to construct your own wooden block. Next, while donning your favorite business casual, plane off both faces of the boards so they are nice and flat. After that, glue the faces of the boards to one another with liberal amounts of glue to make sure the entire face gets covered. Finally, clamp the boards tightly to one another and leave them overnight to dry. Once the boards are nice and dry, use the wind bandsaw to cut the slab into 10 inch segments. Now you have a nice 6x6x10 by by inch block of wood to work with. Next, draw or glue on the design that you want to cut out. For me, I chose a design that would be next to impossible to mess up. After quickly messing up my design, I decided to revise my plans to something even easier. A half circle. A few things for beginners to consider. First and foremost, understand the relationship between the width of the blade and the turning radius of the saw. If you don't think your saw blade is turning sharp enough, then you may need a thinner blade. Once you have cut out the box, the next step is to cut a flat piece off the back. Set this piece aside, as you will need to be gluing it back on at a later point in time. After that, it's time to cut out your drawer. For mine, I chose to slice off the bottom of the slab in order to have easy access to cutting out my drawer. To make your drawer, cut out a solid piece from the center of the block. Perfect! Next, set aside the rest of your bandsaw box and cut off flat pieces from both the front and back of your drawer. Finally, cut the center out of the drawer to allow for room to put stuff. Now it's time to glue everything back together. You should have three pieces for your drawer. The front, the back, and the base. Go ahead and use wood glue and clamps to put these back together, leaving out the middle piece in order to leave room for stuff inside your drawer. After that, glue the other components of your bandsaw box together. Clamp them and leave them to dry separately from the inside drawer piece. Once the pieces have had time to dry, unclamp them and then see if your drawer fits. Odds are, it'll take a little sanding in order to get it the right size. I used the wind variable speed oscillating tool with a low grit sandpaper in order to remove the excess material. After a bit of sanding, the drawer should slide perfectly back into your bandsaw box. Finally, using the excess scrap, make a little handle for your drawer. Carve out the handle with the bandsaw and then glue it to the front of your bandsaw box. Look at that cute little guy. Once the handle has a chance to dry, your bandsaw box is complete. And there you have it. Now you have a place to store all of your hopes and dreams, and maybe even a deck of cards. So remember, when you need a simple woodworking project idea, remember when. Basic information about this saw. The G0555 and the G055P are the same machine with the only difference being in color. The P in the G055P stands for our Polar Bear series, which is white in color, while the G0555 is green and tan. This saw features a strong one horsepower motor that is wired for 110 to 20 single phase power. It comes pre-wired to 110 volts so you can pretty well plug it in your shop's 110 outlet and begin to use it. This is a two speed saw with the blade speeds being 1500 and 3000 feet per minute. Speed changes are derived using a step pulley and as you can see we use a serpentine belt which reduces vibration substantially. The blade capacity of the triple five is one eighth to three quarters of an inch and the blade length is 93 and a half inches. This is a standard length blade that you can buy from us as well as many other suppliers. We carry a variety of fine blades including Timberwolf blades that are made of Swedish steel. The cutting capacity and width is 13 and a half inches. Generally when you refer to a 14 inch bandsaw it is the distance from the blade to the saw's frame. The resaw capacity or how tall a board you can run through this saw is six inches. This particular saw also has an optional riser kit available that will give you additional 6 inches of resaw capacity for a total of 12. The kit's model number is H3051 and the kit includes a block, guard, and a longer blade. The wheels are made of aluminum and are computer balanced for a smooth operation. They also run on heavy duty ball bearings. This saw features a quick release system for changing out the blades. I'll show you how easy it is to change the blades on this machine. First. Disconnect the machine from the wall power outlet. 
Then all you have to do is flip this lever up, open the upper and lower wheel covers, remove the table insert, slide the blade out and replace it with the new one. Line up the new blade on the two wheels and through the guides. Flip the quick release lever back down and the blade is tight again. Glide the upper wheels slowly by hand to make sure the blade is properly aligned on the wheels and the blade guides. Shut both the upper and lower doors. Replace the table insert. Plug the cord back into the outlet and you're back in business. Blade tension is adjusted using the knob on the top of the bandsaw. Right here. The saw also features a gauge that's calibrated for different blade widths. The quick release blade tension lever allows you to quickly release the blade tension when not in use to maximize blade life and then retension the blade again when needed. Blade tracking is quick and easy using the knob located on the back of the bandsaw. This saw features ball bearing blade guides with fine adjustments and these support the blade both where the cut is being made above the table as well as below. The body of the saw is made of solid cast iron and the stand made of heavy gauge steel. This helps dampen vibration. Watch how smoothly the saw is when I turn it on. And the G0513X2F. We'll cover the second set of four 17 inch bandsaws in the part two series coming soon. The G0513 and the G0513P are the same machine with the only difference being color. The P in the G0513P stands for our Polar Bear series, which is white in color, while the G0513 is green and tan. This is a full featured saw with big cutting capacities. A strong 2 horsepower motor that is wired for 110 volt, 220 volt single phase power and a 12 inch resaw capacity. It comes pre-wired to 220 volts and has the power and capability to resaw all day long. It is a two-speed saw with the blade speeds being 1700 and 3500 feet per minute. Speed changes are derived with a step pulley. The range of blade width on the G0513 is 1 8 to 1 inch and the length is 131 and a half inches. With a quick change release tensioner, the blade changes are quick and easy. Also featured are European style steel blade guides that run cooler and are extremely wear resistant compared with other guide blocks. The cutting capacity and width is 16 and a quarter inches. Generally, when you refer to a 17 inch bandsaw, it is close to the distance from the blade to the saw's frame. The resaw capacity, or how tall a board you can run through this saw, is 12 inches. The wheels are made of cast aluminum and are computer balanced for smooth operation. They also run on heavy duty ball bearings. Next I'll show you how easy it is to change the blade on this machine. First, disconnect the power from the wall power outlet. Then. Flip the blade tension lever up to the loosened position on the back of the saw. Open the upper and lower wheel covers. Remove the table insert and the alignment pin. Now you're ready to slide the blade off the wheels. Turn and slide out the groove cut in the side of the table. Here's how to get your new blade in and your saw up and running. First, slide the blade through the groove in the table. Line up the new blade on the two wheels and through the guides. Pull the quick release lever back down and the blade is tight again. Glide the upper wheel slowly by hand to make sure the blade is properly aligned on the wheels and the blade guides. Shut both upper and lower doors. Replace the table insert and table alignment pin. Plug the cord back into the wall outlet and you are back in business. Blade tension is adjusted using the knob under the wheel cover. The quick release blade tension lever also allows you to quickly relieve blade tension when not in use to maximize blade life and then quickly retension the blade again when needed. Blade tracking is quick and easy using the blade tracking window and knob on the back of the bandsaw. The Euro style steel guides have full enclosure protection. The body of this saw is made of reinforced steel. This reduces weight without sacrificing rigidity. Watch how smooth the saw is when I turn it on.